Hallo Leute, mein Name ist Sozial Insock und oh Junge, im Moment tue ich alles Mögliche sichern, übertragen, alles drum und dran, um den neuen PC endlich bereit zu machen. Aber, oh boy, das ist eine Menge. Und ja, gestern erschienen auch zwei Animationen, einmal von James Animations, The Gay, wie Nintendo Wants to Forget. Und von Etsy vor natürlich die erste Episode mit dem Class 9 Etsy vor. Und ja, auf beides reagieren wir jetzt nach. Das sind die heutigen Videos. Und im Moment geht alles drauf und drunter. Also, ich versuche trotzdem mein Bestes. Let's go! Everyone knows about the classic household name: Dance Dance Revolution. It's the one where you go to those arcade places and there's that one Asian guy full comboing the hardest song with both player slots and he's been doing it with no break for the past two hours and he's the coolest person anyone has ever seen. It's a huge video game genre that sparked yeah. an incredibly talented and dedicated fan base. Mario but we're not talking überlebt. about a game that has any of that. We're talking about the Mario DDR game that came out on the GameCube in 2005 and is the funniest Nie thing that Nintendo has ever done. If you didn't know, Nintendo released their own Dance Dance Revolution game to capitalize on the hype but it's actually awful uh for whatever reason they just ripped all the assets and models from their Mario yeah Party it's had to damn it's not this video we've seen various dances resulting in animations like these I hope you're starting to pick up on the vibe of this game now. I wanted to run the game at the hardest difficulty, but I realized to unlock each difficulty, you need to complete the entire story mode in its prior difficulty. So das to heißt unlock hard life. mode, you have to beat the game in normal. To unlock very hard, you have to beat it all again in hard. So we all agree that I played the game three whole times and didn't use a cheat code to get the hardest difficulty immediately, right? Yeah, right, okay. Great. This game is awesome already. The story starts out with Toad running to Mario's house because someone stole the music <laughs> keys from can his house spiel. and they need to go get them back. What are the music keys? The game calls them the spheres that hold the power of music and then does not elaborate. They try to head to the Is only so as we're on Mario Party DS. Ebenfalls game, solche Noten haben existiert. Hurdle, which is a river. They say it's flooded, but does not look flooded. <laughs> it's a river. In fact, that is exactly what I'd expect a completely normal river to look like. Also, why would you put your house here in the first place, especially Eben. if you're going to have problems with crossing rivers? But Toad has a solution, and the solution Dancing. is to dance. Oh my god, do not tell me I can predict how this entire game goes all because of this one sentence. Anyways, Toad says if they dance, maybe they can cross the river, but then they just get in a boat and dance, which I think is one step too complicated. They cross the river in a boat and thank the power of magic, get to Truffle Tower, oh the man. door is locked, this and they are bombed so by dumb. Waluigi. Mario gets sent flying and Waluigi monologues about how he is the one that stole the music keys and intends to use them to become the best dancer in the world. Yeah, das war das erste Spiel, wo man Waluigi als Willen sehen konnte. Das einzige Game, in dem Waluigi mal eine wichtige Rolle hatte als überhaupt. Somehow, I don't know what happened, but he just started dancing and then he was out. And on their way back to the tower, they visit a local shop run by Lakitu. They're shopping, and then the camera pans and reveals... Is that the key to Truffle Towers? They ask him about it, and he's just like, Yup, ain't she a beaut? And it's like, why is it here? Toad asks if they can have it, and he responds, Only if you can do something for me. Which is terrifying and ominous. He takes him to the back, <laughs> which is also terrifying and ominous, but says, These brat kids are messing with my garden. If you get rid of them, you can have a key. Oh, phew. Okay, he just wants us to beat up children. So Mario just dances around and smashes them. We get the oh. key, we go back to the tower. <laughs> oh, wait, I hope we had mess on top. Just having his own private little dance party inside, alone. Have you just been so dancing around in silence this whole time? Ironic, that this is the only game in which we win, because it's a real role. And now we got the music key. Kein einziges Spiel hat irgendwie eine andere Rolle in Thema Waluigi. Before Toad says they're not done with their journey. We have one of the music keys, but apparently Ja, und das ist alles, was wir von Waluigi in diesem Game gehört haben. 18 minutes long. Toad summons this incredible music airship that I guess Und das ist absolut ärgerlich eigentlich. Das ist das einzige Game, wo Waluigi mal ein bisschen Liebe bekommen hat. Get flung away and ruin Toadette's hotel. And when I say ruin 
I mean, turn it into corkscrew pasta. Toadette is absolutely furious, and I'm just praying we didn't kill every Ach, single stimmt, person in the building. Ach, stimmt. Von diesem gibt's eine Final Night Funkel Mod. Ich hab sie erst kürzlich gedownloaded. Das können die sogar spielen. Die Edson sind so ein Kerl und Kappa. Die Edson coils itself up again, and Toadette's like, thanks. By the way, I saw the thing you guys are looking for fly over in that direction. Which is like, okay, sure. They head over in that direction, but a whirlpool just spawns out of nowhere. They sail to an <laughs> island for safety. Kind of just stand there with creepy blank stairs ja, for a bit. Lakitu is the only building on the island, which is just Party another shop. Sind. This time it's run by a Lakitu, but in a pirate hat. And you'll never guess what he's got. A ship attachment that lets you sail through whirlpools. How incredibly convenient to keep on progressing. Mario and Toad are just looking at the thing, and Lakitu's like, I see ja, you got the boogie boots. Yeah, from all the head to do, heutzutage in the heutigen Toad's Zeit like, nicht mehr oh, möglich. Nee, ich verstehe da Nintendo nope, bis heute nicht. Warum? Es ist doch nur ein Hut. You got a point. If you beat me in a dance battle, you can have it. I kid you not, that is the exact exchange that happens in the game. The song that plays while battling Lakitu is super intimidating. Wie kann er in der Wolke tanzen? Danger, but Mario wins the dance off probably because Lakitu has zero legs. They get the engine thing that wasn't for sale, and Lakitu definitely did not have to give away. And now they can sail through whirlpools. And when the game says through, they actually mean into, because apparently the music key is Was? in the whirlpool, and I don't know how they knew that, or why they didn't tell me, Hä? the player, Hä? that, in the first place. <laughs> so I thinking the whole time, <laughs> Ach, stimmt, gibt's sail around nicht. the whirlpool or something. There's like a whole ocean to sail in, and you're wanting to sail through this tiny little section. <laughs> but now I look like a fool. And frankly, I don't think it's my fault. So they get to the bottom of the whirlpool and find the second music key being guarded by this giant blooper. And of course, that Blooper. means we need to dance battle. Since for all these duel songs you get to see the opponent's screen, I thought it would have been really funny to see the blooper have like eight arrows to hit instead of the classic four. But what is just a really creative and fun Wieso little sollte man sich extra Mühe geben? Funny, I guess. Also, when I say dance, I mean murder. Mario danced so hard the blooper died. On to World what? they go, which by the way, this game is going at breakneck pace. Mario does a couple dances, someone dies, and on to the next area, I guess. They land at an amusement park and are immediately gate kept by these hammer bros. Was so das like, if you wanna get you, you're gonna have to dance through us. Toad runs away because he says his legs are Ach, stimmt, die wurden ja alle geklaut aus Mario Party. Gatekeeping worked on him. Mario is canonically immune to gatekeeping, so he stepped up to the challenge. And I would like to mention these Hammer Bros' highest combo was 30, which is not good at all. I'm just saying, I would be embarrassed if I tried to gatekeep someone and performed like that. Just saying, Mario and Toad enter Oi. the amusement park to see ah, Mario is also on start. The music key. They yell out, Follow that roller coaster! <laughs> But then they make probably the worst decision you could when you're trying to catch someone on a roller coaster. With a roller coaster. The other roller coaster cart. If you're getting on a roller coaster, roller coaster, that doesn't work. Roller coasters don't catch up to each other. That's called a collision. So they make haste again, the chase of a lifetime, and they end up running into a haunted house where Mario needs to dance to fend off the ghosts to avoid being possessed. Is this what you have to do to close Ouija boards people forget to say goodbye to? They make it out and start the chase again. Also, Wario, I don't think you should be saying this when you're clearly in tackling distance. They corner him at the Ferris wheel. He pulls the, if you can beat me on dance battle, you can have a key thing again. We beat him, and hey, third music key. Wie kann Wario tanzen? The two arrive at World 4. Wario is an absolute einzer Tänzer, and he has also perfect reingepasst. Ach ja, the animation, die kenn ich, die kenn ich. As Mario does not care, but they make it to the top of the mountain where they find the last music key lodged in this giant Freezy's head. Toad goes up to him and is like, "Hey, sir, can we have that?" And gets hard ignored. So he turns to Mario and is like, "Do you see that? I was ignored." Mario killed him, which the Freezy did not like. Which, being honest, is very reasonable. I would be in the same boat if I gave someone the silent treatment, and then I overhear them put a hit on me. Even though Toad is aye, clearly aye. in the wrong, Mario dance fights him anyway. And during the very fun upbeat dance, the an ice cube is slowly melting as Mario pelts him with fireballs. The giant Freezy dies tragically. They get the key and not Toad cheers. Kill counter my spy. To self-reflect and realize how unreasonable. <laughs> 
And now this beautiful, innocent creature is dead because of it. They fly back to Truffle Towers to put the music keys back when Bowser punches Toad in the throat and takes all the keys back. Ah, of course, I must just be the Bowser as antagonist. Die Sache ist ja nicht inzwischen schon ausgeleiert. After Mario dances to quite possibly the strangest Mario Bros. song I've ever heard. Was ist das? Die Action von Hot Wheels trifft auf Mario Kart. Mario Kart Werbung. Auf der Epic. They infiltrate the castle and grab the keys before Bowser is able to use them. Then Toad's like, "You're going down, Bowser. Mario, kill him." And then the most hype dance wieder? begins. Have you ever seen Bowser? Ich weiß nicht, wie oft Bowser schon in Lava gefallen ist oder so, aber er kommt immer wieder zurück. This song unironically goes crazy hard too. The premise of this battle is <laughs> while you're hitting the arrows, you also have to hit these rocket parts, and when you get all three, it builds into this. Space rocket that flies over and astral squishes Bowser. Uh. I would like to say, for the record, I think it is incredibly impressive he's able to take a giant hammer to the head and immediately jump up and keep dancing like a champ. That's so Bowser has already lived. But the Sogar der Explosion and Bowser Explosion eines Planetens. The day is once again saved thanks to Mario and the sociopathic megalomaniac that uh. asked Bowser why he wanted the music keys in the first place, and he's like, "I'll be honest, I just wanted to fix my tone deafness." Poor guy, just wants to become a K-pop star. I guess that's <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because then he just uses all the keys himself and releases all the music power into the world, and they all act like he's a hero and everything is happily and sparkly in the end. And how it's supposed to be used this whole time, which could be cute if it wasn't so stupid, and also invalidates every single organism they slaughtered to get to this point. Was this uh, a yeah. game? Not even close. It was surprisingly hard. But it's not because the game is hard. I think it's really just because the developers didn't know anything about DDR. If they did, they sure as hell didn't make a game that seemed like it. They don't indicate which arrows are on what beats, which is really important in DDR. Well, okay, technically they do tell you what arrows on a full beat and which are on half beats, but they switch back and forth between the same colors the whole time. See these two squares? Tell me which one is which when they're flying across the screen and all intertwined. Uh, in other words, <laughs> many arrows are impossible to see because they're not bright and neon, so they blend into the background, which is distracting enough already. For me, the calibration was wrong, so I went into the settings to fix it. And instead of having a way to recalibrate it manually or something, you have to input plus or minus, which is like uh -huh. my sweet spot ended up at plus nine. And I have no idea what that means. I could go on and on, but I think you get the point. Do I hate this game? Nope, I absolutely loved it. And it's all because of the stupid rotoscope dance animations. How could you call this bad? Nintendo will never let this happen again. So I yeah. think you need to step up and cherish this game because it's a miracle it exists in the first place. Plus, the songs, except that weird one near the end, are actually fire, and I'm dying on that hill proudly. Hello everyone, I hope you've been doing well. I have been doing quite well myself. Ay, 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 um, ay. Nothing to say this time. Uh, I'm working on a lot of like fun stuff, but I can't talk about it yet, so stay tuned. Stay tuned. Alright, bye bye. Ja, und das war's schon. Das war dieses Video. Ja, und damit haben wir darauf reagiert. Es war wieder mal wie typisch Jaden ein sehr gut animiertes Video. Was allerdings das Traurige an diesem Video ist, die Animations von Jaden waren besser als jede einzelne Animation im Game. <lacht> Au. Und damit bedanke ich mich fürs Zusehen. Bleibt sozial. Lasst da da. Und bye.